All right, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to start with the various methods that we have in the, in um, in statistics, right? So we first consider classification, right? And then we also consider association, right? We consider classification and association. So talking of classification, I mean, we see it every, in our everyday lives, for instance, um, segmenting our customers, right? Segmenting our customers based on some characteristics or some behaviors that they do. Okay, so maybe, maybe let's, if we take, for instance, if, if you are, if you are say a manager at the bank, right? If you're a manager at a bank, then um, if you have you have your customers already, so some customers subscribe to a loan and then later on they they default on a loan or they fail to pay back the loan, right? So based on some characteristics, maybe um, some customers fail to pay the loan back. So in that case, I mean, if we use the term default, right, they defaulted on the loan, right? So based on some characteristics, maybe these customers, maybe um, those those were single, single people and um, maybe unemployed, right? Unemployed, right? Unemployed, something like that. And some, some other factors that will also contribute, okay? So based on this, right, based on this, if a new customer comes in, so this is the customer that you have already, and this customer um, came for a loan, the customer did not pay, right? So now if, I mean, there, there will be other customers who are also maybe maybe married, right? Other customers who are married, um, and, uh, they are also employed, right? They are employed, they are married, and they are employed, um, plus some other, other factors, right? So they also came, they pay back the, the loan, right? They pay... Um, the loan, right? They pay back the loan. So um, these are the customers that you have. Now, if we have a new customer that will come in, right? And this customer, this new customer that, that is coming in, right? So this is our new customer that is coming in for a loan. Now, if we see the characteristics of this, normally what banks do is that they will give you, um, they will give you a form, right? They will give you a form to fill, right? So if this customer comes in and then um, this customer filled a form and this form this information that the customer provided is similar to this guy that we have already that did not pay the loan then we can deny this guy of the loan you see that now this is kind of a classification because we are classifying this new guy as a person who would default on the loan right however if a new guy comes in right if a new guy comes in and this person's um, fill the form and uh, the information that the person provided is similar to the customer that we have already that paid back our loan then obviously we're going to grant this one to a loan okay so i mean this this kind of just one example of what we we can actually um see when it comes to classification right and maybe maybe if you take if you take um let me clean this so maybe if you take our normal classrooms, right? So there are some students who study for long hours, some, st some students who study for short hours, right? So normally if students, I mean, on, on a normal circumstance, if students study for long hours, right? Study for long hours, right? If students study for long hours, they normally pass, right? They normally pass. So depending on the number of hours that they, they study, so maybe if we give a range to say, um, zero to zero hours that is the person did not study at all to maybe say five um, or maybe maybe 10 hours right maybe 10 hours okay and um if, if we can see that those who study for less hours so maybe one hour two hour, hours or maybe three hours or those those students normally tend to fail right normally tend to fail i mean i'm, I'm just giving an example there are several i mean um aberrations to this right where people study for less hours but they still pass right so i mean this is just an example and but mostly people who study for long hours maybe five hours six hours seven hours eight hours something like that they tend to pass okay so now if a new st these are the students that we have already so if a new student comes in right if we have, if we have a new admission and this student studies for say um, two hours, right? We can predict that this student will fail, right? And however, if a, if a new student comes in and that student studies for say um, six hours or seven hours, we can predict that this student will pass, okay? So in this case, we are, we are classifying these, right? We are classifying these two people, right? As whether the, they will pass, right? Whether they will pass or they will fail, right? So these are just some of the examples that you can see when it comes to classification. All, all these are based on statuses, right? All these are based on status. And we're going to see several examples as we proceed in the course, okay? We're going to see several examples of this as, as we proceed in the course. So if we start doing the projects, you're really going to understand the real world, how these are actually being applied. Right? We are going to see all these as we proceed in the course, okay? So we're talking about association, talking about association, for instance, um, 
how do we match um, things in our shops? So if, if you talk about maybe a uh, red top, right? Maybe red top um, or maybe maybe black top, right? Let me let me use maybe let me use that. Normally we use black and white combinations when we want to dress up and go for some some occasions. Maybe we, we normally like maybe black and white, right? Maybe black top and then white trousers or something like that. Um, something like that. OK, maybe something like that. Black and white and um, something like that on maybe black belt or white belt normally black belt so some some kind of combinations like that so if you have a shop if you have to see a boutique shop and uh, you sell you sell clothing like that right and then you need to know how you're actually going to place these items right how you're going to place so if you have a black shirt right or black um trousers right you have a black trousers then you need to know um which which set you need to place alongside this right so if if um if you're grouping your items in your in the shop then maybe this black trousers should go with some white or some white um top right some white top right close to it so that if the person buy this one the person will get to know that oh this and that combination is good right in that case the person will buy the trousers and buy the white top you're increasing your profit Okay, but how do you do this? How do you get to know that? Okay, that's some of the things that we're going to learn in this course, right? And all these are stem from um, statistics, right? So, for instance, if someone buys say bread, right? If someone buy bread, it's likely the person will buy say um, it's likely the person will buy um, say say coffee or maybe or maybe butter, right? So maybe butter, I think butter will be a better example, right? So it's, it's likely the person who buys, um, who buys bread or buy butter, right? So if you have a shop then you need to know how you actually going to combine these items, right? So where you put a bread, where you put a bread, you should make sure that, um, a butter, right? You should make sure that a butter is closer to that. So that when the person buy bread, this butter will remind the person that, oh, if you combine bread with butter, it, it tastes good, right? So the person who end up buying the bread, right, who end up buying the bread and the butter and the butter, right? In that case, you're increasing your profit, right? You're increasing your profit, and this is uh, quite of the, I mean, some of the things that you really need to know as 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 you. As, I mean, as a data scientist, you are the thing, you are the guy who, or I mean, you are the person who is going to do all this uh, association, right? So we talk about something called the, um, the market basket analysis, and you get to know how these association rules are being used. So if you go to websites like, um, say, Amazon, you see that they will, if you try to buy something, right? If you try to buy something, then they will say that, oh, Customers who bought item B also bought item uh, item A, right? So customers who bought who bought say if you say, if you pick say Samsung phones, right? You feel, as soon as you you click on the phone to buy, they will show you that oh customers who buy um Samsung phone also buy Samsung um maybe Samsung um earphones or maybe something like that, right? Samsung earphones or something like that something related to samsung right so they will try to sell something in addition to what you are you are buying right how do they do that right all these are something that i mean that stem from association rules and we're going to talk about we're going to see more of this as we progress in the course right and all these are coming from statistics right and that's why i actually pick these style for you to get familiar with right from the start okay so let's progress from here let's progress from here now we're going to consider um, what is called the pattern recognition and then predictive modeling, right? So most of the things that we're going to actually do is um, discovering patterns, right? You're going to see um, how you're going to discover patterns and some of the things that we're going to make use of box plot, histogram, scatter plot, and some other other um, other tools that that uh, we find um, needing. I mean, we find necessary to use, right? So. We're going to consider that and you're going to see this box plot over and over again i mean particularly in identifying outliers right you're going to see it over and over again as, as we progress right so uh, when we're talking about predictive modeling i mean and at the basis of it of everything that we're going to do is to build in the models right building uh, machine learning models right and all these are based on the statistics right all these are based on statistics and we're going to see how we're going to use the various algorithms to build I mean, models, right? Like um, talking of, say, logistic regression, uh, linear regression, talking of support vector machines. And um, I mean, a lot, a whole lot of algorithms that we're going to consider as, as we progress in this course, okay? So, I mean, um, these are some of the things that you need to put in your mind. Uh, as soon as you see them, you know that they are all coming from statistics, right? So 
That's why you cannot do away with um, your statistics when you're talking about uh, when you're talking about machine learning, right? Because they all come in from statistical concepts, right? And we're going to take a phase one by one and then break them down for you to really get to understand them. Okay, so um, let's progress from here. And then um, the next thing that we will talk about is the various um, data types. So in the next video, that's what we're going to start to do. I mean, everything that we're going to do is going to come from data. Or are you going to be about data, data, data? So in the next video, what are we going to consider? is the various data type. Okay, so see you in the next video.